um, they it, it shuts down their fine motor skills inside their body, their muscular system, and those type of things. And um, I actually had a friend uh, a few years ago die from this disease, so I'm I'm happy to do this. The money that is raised for people that that do the ice bucket challenge and contribute money goes to research to help find a cure for the disease. So. Um, I'll, I'll explain the rest later on film because we need documentation. So, Mrs. Hampton, wherever you're at, right here. Right here. okay, I'm ready. You got a good angle. Here, I have a great angle. Everything's ready, so that we okay. All right. As I explained to you, this is part of the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. I have been challenged by Mr. Scott Schiller, a principal and a good friend of mine in Powell. And I've been challenged by Abby Douglas and uh, Mr. Barrett. So uh, Reese and Dylan are gonna help dump on behalf of them. Um, this, uh, I'm doing this in memory of Corey Ginsbach, uh, who was a friend of mine from uh, Hill City that we had coached together for a number of years and he passed away in, uh, I believe it was 2007 with ALS. I am challenging Mr. Troy Claycomb, the principal of Sunflower Elementary in Gillette. I am challenging Mr. Ty Flock, the high school principal in Grable, Wyoming, and Mr. Charles Oski, the superintendent of Arveda Claremont Schools in Arveda, Wyoming. And I am challenging them to also do this in front of their student bodies. Okay, so somebody grab the mic. Go, buddy. Woo! 